Can we have it? I'm going to pause this. I think we need to... Yeah, we are on Superstar Sim. No, he's already making excuses. No excuses. Just making sure. Superstar Sim, of course, is important because that's what you're going to see online. Zach, can you talk about the, uh, the badge system a little bit? Yes, I am the great badge Bambino. Oh. We have uh, 77 badges in the game this year. Um, there's no, there is no limit to the amount of badges that a single player can have. Um, one of the big differences this is that... year is that. <laughs> what? No, go ahead. <laughs> one of the big differences this year is that. Um, hey, Zach. Other than other than the fact that a player can have as many badges as we have, um, other than the ones that are um, conflicting. Um, you can have uh, a bronze, a silver, or a gold. You're not limited to just the gold version like you were last year. So uh, you'll notice throughout the game, um, if one of these guys wants to press up on the D-pad, right um, we have a, a HUD up there that will show you stats. It'll also show you the skills of players, um, whether you're on offense or defense. And then when a batch fires off successfully, you'll see it pop down from the bottom. Um, a lot more expansive this year. A lot of cool stuff. Uh, we're pretty excited about badges. It's awesome. I'm not excited about Jeremy Lin it's and so Steve serious. Nash on Derrick Rose. That's yeah, that's a, that's a serious it's mismatch. Serious. I'm not going to overly exploit it, oh, but it's, that badge it's, it's kind of up. hard not to best pass. Oh, that's a good D. Did you make up that just now? I did. I like it. What was that badge like that just it. popped up that's just different. now on, on Jay Lin? I was paying attention. L who's running plays? Dunleavy is just letting me down. I gotta get Dougie, Dougie McBuckets in. Jesse, your thoughts so far in the game? Uh, actually, I have a lot of thoughts, but I think we'd all be Kobe. more curious what your thoughts are. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't handle oh, this. I'm done. I'm done. I can't do it. <laughs> I am just missing. For those, for those who don't, don't understand, the, the, Jesse the, loves to be on camera, right, Jess? <laughs> I do love to be on camera. Do you love to be on camera, Mike? <laughs> I agree. All right, first time out. So uh, something that I know a lot of people are excited about, we have uh, cheerleaders in the game this year, full dance routine mocaps. No one's more excited than you, Chris. I am very excited oh, about buddy. this. Uh, oh, you're going to get a, get a trouble They're called boy. dancers. Dancers. OK, to be dancers. dancers. Another thing that I think a lot of people are excited about, not only are points of emphasis returning, we got some new options there, but the individual defensive settings, uh, if you guys want to talk about this, I know a lot of people were excited when we started you know, revealing these, but this is going to kind of change the way people play defense in NBA 2K. It was, it was something we had. Uh, fly through in, real quick, Ronnie. It, we, uh, uh, yeah, fly through those. Well. Yeah. I'm on, uh, so it's something we had I'm in the game the in, your, in years right past. Right. We brought it back this year. Um, a lot of the hardcore users really like to have total control over what every single player does. Um, so yeah, you can determine how you guard every player, you know, with pressure on and off the ball, where you force them, how you handle screens and hedges, um, how you guard them in the post, and as well, and also, uh, you know, how you handle um, double teams both on the post and the perimeter. Um, I don't know if you want to get into some of the options that we have also, Scott. Uh, yeah, thanks. It's one of the uh, settings for the hardcore guys that you would see out there is ice. So, you know, no called ice or otherwise known as, you know, down or baseline, so that means that you can force Side pick and rolls to the baseline. It's a nice touch. Very glad it's nice. uh, very happy it's in there. Oh, it's a nice block. Collision animation. That was Is that cool. Davis? Last year that was automatic. Davis with the block. Oh, oh got Davis. him. Coach. Got him, coach. Keep Where's it the moving. D, Here we go. Uh, I don't know. We're known for our defense. I apologize. Chicago. Reaching. You know, that's the only guy he, he has to worry about down, in the though. Lakers, though, to be fair. I got to worry about D. Rose. Oh, good deed. Well, now Get up. Swaggy. Swaggy P. Swaggy. Oh, oh trying to get too, too much. Doing too, too much, much. Yeah. Swaggy. That's, that's typical <laughs> Swaggy there. Oh, right there. Hit him again. Hit him again. So talk about oh, that. Oh, Hezzy to the first step. Just like real life. Yes, you want to talk about the flashy dunk button? Um, on command, you can actually ask for a flashy dunk by pulling the right stick away from the rim. Mm. Mm. That's what he did. That's what I, there. That's I what did Chris do it. did, and uh, it ruined his dunk in this case because <laughs> Ronnie was uh, trailing fast behind. I'm definitely. How playing. many how many dunks were added this year, Jesse? Uh, oh. Somewhere between two and three hundred. We're not really sure. Mm. Who's the best dunker thought. that's ever come through mocap? Uh, my rebounded hands down is the best dunker. Uh, Remix. Had, shout, uh, shout out. out. Doug hey, Anderson was also awesome. G. Smith, uh, Chris Staples. Oh, name of them all. They, they were all Come on, great. Kobe, give me a foul, ref. I think Myrie is best. Myrie actually came in here 2K8 to first do dunks for us, and he's still doing it, and he's still throwing down like he did when he was. How long ago was that? I don't know. He was young, but and he's still young, but crazy hops. 
just Money, like stuff. Mm. That was an impressive first quarter. I couldn't Different get than what going. we've seen of late. <laughs> what are your thoughts, Mike? I think that uh, Ronnie's not really hitting his shots. He's got a lot of I've had a couple looks, open looks. They're just not dropping so far. Right. I'm, I'm feeling good about my uh, crisp prediction. Uh, Kobe's really dominating the first quarter. We'll see if uh, he can continue to do it throughout the game because as he jacks up more shots, we might see a dip in those in, in, in the field goal percentage. So, so we'll have to see. Did you guys change the camera? Yeah, yeah we sure. give the users a different look. Let's mm -hmm. give. Uh, let's go with broadcast next. I think okay. something I'd like to see here. We need to get the fans' opinions on is this mellow rating. Mellow, mm. Paul, George, um, our man Mike Stoff here has been been taking some heat. Oh, where is my D? So, would you like to explain? Thank some God. of those ratings. I was, about to say, oh, I was only on two shooters. Roll. Definitely. So we uh, released the top ten players. Walking the dogs back as well. Uh, we had and that was a terrible LeBron walk in the first with a 98 overall, uh, Kevin Durant with a 95, oh, cool. Chris Paul with a 91, Tim Go strong, go strong. Oh, what are you doing? And then, uh, Not the lane. The top four and Come on. Carmelo Anthony was fifth overall with a league. I gotta get some rating. rebounds. Uh, a lot of people were wondering why he wasn't in the 90s. And it's, if you see this year, the new rating system really uh, puts an emphasis on all-around player performance. So although Melo's improved his defense in the past year and, and even uh, had better assist numbers than years past, he still has a, a little bit further to go to, to get the all-around game. Uh, something that you'll see different in 2K15 is we have a lot of new attributes and ratings. And uh, IQ is going to be really highly valued in not only the formula, but uh, Good shot, Ronnie. in the gameplay as well. So. Players with higher IQ will uh, play well in 2K, and, and their value to the team's a little higher, just like it is in real life. So those of you guys asking about Tim Duncan at a 90, he has elite IQ. I uh, can't really knock him there, and he rates well in the formula. play with him in the game, he'll play like Tim Duncan in real life. Are you trying to say Carmelo doesn't have a high IQ? In certain aspects of the game, he can improve his IQ. I think he has a high basketball IQ, but uh, he's, I wouldn't call it elite. But that's subjective, and that's one of those, those ratings that if you feel like he has a better IQ, reaching. He was reaching. Oh, computer reaching? He's probably watching right now, just so you know. Absolutely. Syracuse 15, as I like to call him. 24 jab steps and a 15 foot pull up, baby, winning the national championship. That's right. the best individual performances that's I've going ever down. seen. There you go, Ronnie. Jesse, do you Marcus. agree? I'm getting I all these, agree. like, twos on uh, um, the foot within the three point line. It's not good. Hopefully those points don't cost me. Oh, nice nice oh a million finish. dollar move, ten cent finish. You know? We don't like those. You oh, gotta you finish. Oh, oh, I wanted you to flash. No, no, I, 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 actually, I actually like that because this is something new this year. You can actually stop the guy that's going to jump up. <laughs> this is something you new. Really you can stop alley oops. <laughs> What are you saying, man? No, I'm just saying, it, you know, it's 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 a little bit easier. Yeah, to get last the guy year, out. okay, last year alley oops oh, were a bit on, of a problem. Oh, I hate Nick Young. We redid all the alley defense. <laughs> Tip for the users out there: if you can me, cut off the receiver me. on the floor, then he won't he won't blast through you like last year. And you can also <laughs> intercept the passes and knock him down a lot easier too. So, oh, great, great touch. We um, I know he doesn't have. I think that. we did a good job of anti-cheesing this game. So let's name all the cheeses. Dairy free for sure. That we yeah, yeah, yeah all the cheese that's no longer there. You really have to work for everything. Jesse. In this game, uh, charged cheese. Eliminated. Charged cheese gone. Actually, one three one cheese that. is definitely gone. I know there was some talk in the forums about it. Uh, we spoke to over eighty percent of the coaches in the league, and uh, they don't use it, so we're not going to use it. I got to ask you about that. Um, you spent a lot of you guys spent a lot of time about Doc Rivers, and so it's something that we haven't talked about a lot um, in our marketing stuff. But how was that? Like, did you what did you guys learn from him? Oh, what do we? Yeah, Doc Rivers. And what did you not learn from him? I guess he, is really you know the we could have sat there. I speak for us. We could have sat there probably for three days straight and just ate up everything he soaked in. Everything he talks about, yeah. everything he says is just spewing knowledge. Uh huh. So just an amazing coach. We learned a lot of stuff. So I can talk about some of the X's and O's we talked about. Yeah, though. some of the X's and O's that we talked no about stopping, where uh, God, he treated us like we were his own teammates, basically. And he talked to us about how he adjusted. And he said he's going to take us out to dinner. Absolutely. That's we got to awesome. hold him to that. Um, how he, had, you know, he adapted to Kobe in 2010. So he had this basically this one scheme that he wanted to play, and it was force everybody baseline, baseline, baseline. But anytime Kobe caught it on the elbow or that pinch post, it was to force him middle, uh, to send him to uh, Kendrick Perkins or... Rashid, 
very just interesting stories on the difference between 2008 2010 um, how he's adjusting with Rondo to CP3. There were some interesting stories. Yep. We asked him like who we thought the highest IQ guys were and, and how, how he had to coach guys, guys differently. And how do you separate those guys, right? Uh, we we and probably like, shouldn't what, tell what people what he said, but yeah. um, <laughs> between Rondo and Chris Paul, he had some really good things to say. It took him a long time to answer that question Absolutely. of who was uh, the higher IQ point guard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The, um, the, the dev team secrets never divulged. Was, no, that's very awesome. He was phenomenal. But how does taking that knowledge and then implementing it into some of the stuff you're already doing for yeah. NBA 2K in the series, like how valuable is that to talk to these championship caliber coaches like that and really pick their brain? Well, I think there's, how many coaches have championships currently? Three, four maybe, I think, that are current head coaches that have NBA rings. Yeah, so, so many. getting, you know, his experience and just hearing his stories and how he makes, you know, situational adjustments. That's what's big for us moving forward. Well, they also do a lot with analytics, and yes. that's something that we are always doing, right? Trying to figure out from stats, from different oh. different scouting reports, like how can we make the game more realistic and, and how can we adjust? How can our defense adjust? Oh, another alley. Well, what was there? That was so you can stop alleys. Baby. But you gotta, you guys still gotta do it. It's not like automatic. Absolutely. Right. But that was a good angle right there. That was, that was actually. The Lakers decent do have times. some high flyers though. You know, Wesley Johnson can throw it down. Um, I'm gonna throw it up to Wesley. I'll let Mike and Zach talk about some of the IQs that are uh, in NBA 2K15, but how we've translated those, especially like on the defensive end. You'll see guys uh, be more aware of situations as far as pick and roll and rotation. So um, you'll see probably with Ronnie as maybe Noah's gonna. I'll be more aware of pick and roll as compared to uh, Brian Kelly or this Lakers defense that I suspect won't be very good this year. Um, so, yeah. Mike, do you want to talk about that? You yeah, sure. Uh, so, on defense, we kind of broke it down to a couple different uh, IQ ratings. Oh. Where as years passed, it was just an on-ball defensive rating and a post rating. This year we have uh, pick and roll defense IQ. Um, Got him. Oh, Got him. Uh, we have help, oh, fundamental. help on, defense Hill. IQ. Post defense IQ, pass perception, uh, which is another <laughs> IQ rating, um, as well as on ball defense IQ. No, I'm just enjoying the, the knowledge. Oh, thanks. Uh, on offense, we have shot IQ, we have pass uh, accuracy, pass vision. So, a lot of different ways that we broke down the ratings this year. And uh, yeah, we um, it really should help you know, add more uh, different layers to players, uh, especially, you know, you might have a good defender, uh, but maybe he excels at a, at a part of the game that the ratings in the years past didn't I thought uh, I had necessarily him. illustrate, but this year it should be a little bit better. Someone who's often brought up is James Harden, so uh, <laughs> this year we have the help defense IQ, we have the pass perception, we have uh, pick and roll, so... Uh -oh. No, 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 don't oh, try to dunk on three, three guys. Like oh, Kobe would have definitely not that, though. Well, you uh, see, you know, I'm trying to come up there in the lane. You're going to get bumped out. You're not going to make every uh, driving. Even when you have the lane, I've noticed in this game, you really... Oh, oh, oh. yeah, that was a concern. Uh, yeah. Sorry to cut you off, Mike. That was a concern that people thought that, um, you know, going to, the, going to the rim, there'd be a lot of canned dunks or, you yeah. know, unstoppable no, dunks. Definitely but you saw there, if you try and risk, if you try and dunk through traffic, you'll see a lot of that kind of action. A lot of just missed dunks, flub dunks, slip outs. Spraying dunks all over the place, so you gotta be careful. Oh. Oh. No, don't hesitate. Oh, Kobe, what are you doing? That's going down. That's going down. Oh. Three. Get it. Two. You got a block on Kobe. One. I have to give you a high five for that. Let's <laughs> go. Ronnie made quite, quite the comeback there. Really the 5 0 run in the fourth quarter. If I make some of my open shots, I got this. I just, I'm not making open shots right now. It's only a matter of time. There's tips. I like that there's a lot more body language there this year. Yeah. It's very cool. And um, the cheerleaders too. And yeah, if you if your career <laughs> if your career does well, if your uh, career guy does well as well, once you gain some notoriety.